Hey everyone, welcome to our prosthetics project. Let's dive right into the background. The type of engineers that build prosthetics fall under the umbrella of biomedical engineering. The need for prosthetics can arise from all kinds of situations, injuries, accidents, diseases, infections, and more, and for people or for animals. You work as a biomedical engineer in the town of Sticksville for a large company and you were just tasked with a new project. A local mother is in great condition after surgery, but unfortunately lost the lower part of her knee in an accident. She is feeling pretty sad and is wondering what life will look like going forward. Are you up to help her out? Using the materials given to you, can you design her a functional prosthetic knee that will help make her feel as good as new? Before we go too much further though, we have to cover everyone's favorite topic, a little bit of history, which goes back thousands of years. Did you guys know that the first ever prosthetic recorded in history was actually in Egypt? And it wasn't an arm or a big leg, it was a big toe. That's a little weird to think about, right? But apparently this woman in Egypt couldn't use her favorite pair of sandals without a prosthetic big toe. Fast forward a while and the Civil War was actually a big turning point for prosthetics. They went from essentially wooden planks that were tied onto the body parts to real pieces of engineering with proper materials and moving parts in them. What we find neat is that a lot of the scientists and engineers doing cutting edge research on prosthetics are actually amputees themselves. It's clearly an area that's affected their lives and that they want to make a difference in so they can improve the lives of future people down the road who are in a similar situation. And thanks to some of those great researchers, modern prosthetics have come a long way. They really help restore the mentality of those who have them and no longer have to hold back amputees from their passions, like running or bicycling, even with an artificial limb. And friends, why should you care about all this? Well, I bet it's more relevant than you think. To put it into perspective, there are 2.1 million people living with limb loss just in the United States, and about 3 to 500 amputations occur each day, which will then need prosthetics a few weeks down the road. And unfortunately, there's still a lot of complications associated with prosthetics, and they're not exactly cheap, so it's a really neat opportunity to make a difference in people's lives in a really cool career field. So it's going to be up to you all to make some of those improvements and really take prosthetics to the next level. But super quick before we move on, can we pause this video and come up with a list of what are some things that are really important to keep in mind when designing a prosthetic for a patient? You got it. Here's a list of some of the things that we came up with when making our list. 